I know as a parent, OutSchool has been an incredible resource over the last year, basically offering school on Zoom from science to art to coding to Minecraft. Um, talk to us about what demand has been like over the last year and how that changes when schools are back in session. Well, firstly, Emily, you can, as you might imagine, you know, with the pandemic and schools having been shut down and needing to lock down, there's just been incredible demand for supplements to school that can be accessible remotely um, over Zoom. And so we offer live online classes for kids and small groups, and we saw demand for our classes rocket 2,000% uh, uh, last year. And we've seen that parents continue come to come to the site and uh, to want uh, supplements for school because you know things aren't entirely back to normal, number one. And number two, you know, as we enter the summer, you know, all the usual um, concerns about how can we occupy our kids' time in a valuable and safe way come to the fore. And for most families, only taking in-person summer camps just isn't an option because of cost or availability. So we're seeing that um, there's continued persistent demand for supplemental online classes. And we expect that to continue because the new normal isn't going to be the same as you know the old normal as people have learned and adapted the habits in the wake of the pandemic. So let's talk about the new normal because you say that traditional schools, as they've been operating for the last couple of centuries, are missing the mark on creativity and that the future of learning should be blended in person and online and offline. Talk to us about what you mean by that. So I believe the future of education will be hybrid and hybrid in two senses. Firstly, it'll be a combination of online resources with traditional in-person learning and hybrid in the sense of a combination of core curriculum along with enrichment and supplemental activities. And one challenge in the past for schools is you know, carving out the time and the budget to really offer extensive enrichment classes. And one of the opportunities that online learning presents is the ability to access a far wider range of teachers and topics than could possibly be available locally. And so um, you know, that opportunity is now you know, meeting that problem and interest-based learning and enrichment classes are increasingly in demand because of the demands of the modern world. Parents don't believe that it's enough to simply have your kids you know, get great grades in school and get a great college degree, and that's gonna set them up well for the future. There's so many other skills and um, interests and parts of the world and the economy that are emerging that are unpredictable. And interest-based supplemental learning really can fill that gap and help kids develop differentiated skills for the modern world. OutSchool is now part of a new generation of ed tech unicorns. I know you recently raised money at more than a billion dollar valuation. I want to talk a little bit about the summer because there's still a lot of parents out there that um, don't have a lot of options this summer because we're in this sort of messy middle time. Um, there's some summer camp, but not enough. How is OutSchool helping there? So we have a range of offerings this summer. We have more than 100,000 classes taught by 10,000 um, teachers. And these classes are you know, starting right now. You can come to our site and arrange a camp for your child starting you know, tomorrow um, and fill time very dynamically so that you can have your kids you know, occupied and uh, interested in learning um, in a very dynamic way. And you know, there's a lot of uncertainty this summer um, because of both you know, how we're emerging for the pandemic and uh, how that's different in different parts of the country and how um, you know, parents have access to different resources. In some places, there's not much availability of the traditional in-person camps, simply because those uh, businesses and those groups have been hit so hard with the pandemic. So um, OutSchool can be a great supplement to, to fill those, those gaps, given the uncertainty. And you know, another thing that we've um, released is um, the, uh, a new initiative to allow employers to provide OutSchool classes a benefit for teams. And uh, so that working parents can have access to summer classes uh, on out school for their kids. And that's really, really important because especially working mums have been um, you know, severely impacted by the pandemic and trying to juggle both work and now you know, taking care of the kids for the summer. And so employers um, are able to uh, use out school in that way. And companies like Twitter and the NASDAQ um, are offering out school as a benefit. You know, additionally, we've also- Absolutely. Released you know, I know that um, 
you're, you're, you have this new B2B offering where you are, uh, companies are offering the benefits of, of, of OutSchool to their employees. And I wonder, I'm, I'm also worried about women backsliding in, in the pandemic because they're taking on a greater share of childcare and schooling. But do these benefits for OutSchool continue when we come out of a pandemic? Well, what we're seeing is a shift generally in how employers are approaching benefits. And we don't see any backtracking from that. If anything, we see a doubling down on it because of increased awareness about the issues that um, working parents and in particular working mothers face. So we actually expect that part of our business to increase rapidly and are investing heavily in it based on the trends that we see.